You have to hit rock bottom. That's the way up. up. Yeah, rock bottom is beautiful. The struggle of the struggle of coming back is beautiful. That struggle. I you know it's hard it, it doesn't appear like it's beautiful mm. while you're going through it, but it's just you're being tested. And without a test there's no testimony. You must go through those ends. Hit rock bottom. Your worst hour to spare becomes your best as you get back up. You learn from that. And you continue to put one foot in front of the other. Because what you're going for is what you believe. I just can't go on anymore. I'm working hard on my business and nothing is working out. In fact, it seems like in spite of my effort, everything has just fallen apart. Like the business isn't struggling, it's dead. I realize that I'm everything you say a person shouldn't be. I'm lying in my bed right now. It's two o'clock in the morning. For the last five years, I've been making the wrong decision after wrong decision. And now I'm reaping what I've sown. My life was a train wreck and I've really hit rock bottom. If that's you and that's how you feel and that's how you're feeling about your life, you need to really listen to what I'm gonna talk about today because I've been there. I've been there in business. I've been there in my life. And don't think for a minute that there wasn't a time when Chris and I looked around at our empty store and looked around at our, our, our bank account and said, man, this, this is never gonna work. You know, and you guys gotta remember, I thought my life was over. And if I'm being totally honest, don't think for a minute that I've never done something shitty myself and had to face the consequences. You know, I felt super guilty too about things I've done. And I've been really, really hard on myself. You guys have to understand that what you're going through here is normal. I've hit rock bottom. And let me tell you guys something. I can't explain it, but I've experienced it and I can tell you that it's true. There's something really, really, really good about hitting rock bottom. It can be good for your business and it is absolutely 100% good for you. There's an upside to hitting rock bottom. Defeat may be victory in disguise. The lowest ebb is the turn of the tide. When you feel dead in the water, that's good. When you feel like you're at the bottom, that's good. It means the next step is to wake the fuck up, rise the fuck up, and dominate in everything that you do. And the reason most people f***ing win so big when they come back from rock bottom, the reason that when you watch TV, you hear these stories of people who made something, lost it all, went to the bottom, and then came back up even stronger is because the, the journey of getting to the place, that journey is what creates the tools, the mindset, the skill, the determination, the perseverance to win the long battle of success. I don't know one successful person that is self-made that has had an easy life. They all have a story. And through the process of their struggles, they learn all these skills that are gonna make you be successful. So if you're one of these people who's thinking, I'm everything that you say people shouldn't be, don't go too hard on yourself. Hang in there. Stop being so hard on yourself. A blade does not become strong. It does not become tempered until it's been through the fire several times. And this is just your first or second time through the fire. And there's a lot of hammer work that has to take place. And then you're gonna to have to go back in the forge again. And it's hot and it melts you down and you're uncomfortable. And then life is going to pull you out and it's going to put you on the anvil and it's going to hammer on you some more. And you're going to say, what, am I done yet? Am I a sword for the ages? No, you're not. Uh, you're not done yet. All right? So just chill. Continue to have fun and just embrace the process. And don't look for what you are supposed to be fully, completely polished, sharpened, edged, tempered at 26 or 36 at 46 you've got a lot more forge time left you've got a lot more hammer blows left and it takes time but if you will patiently embrace the process then by the time you get up in years you can be a man that you're proud of